What's up guys, Frazier here for Complex News. It's a little bit unclear why several Rockets players, including Chris Paul, James Harden, Trevor Ariza, and Gerald Green, decided to try and make their way into the Clippers locker room following Houston's loss to Los Angeles on Monday night. Some people have suggested the players were unhappy with Blake Griffin for bumping into and arguing with their head coach Mike D'Antoni during the game, while others have speculated about Austin Rivers and his incessant trash talking potentially being the source of the Rockets' aggravation. But whatever the case may be, the Rockets players were not happy with the way things played out on the court on Monday, and they attempted to take matters into their own hands by trying to confront Griffin, Rivers, and the rest of the Clippers team before Staples Center security stepped in and stopped them from doing it. On Wednesday, the NBA concluded an investigation into the locker room storming and determined that Ariza and Green were the aggressors in the near altercation. The league suspended the two Houston players for two games each for their role in the incident, and naturally, the Rockets weren't happy about it. Those within the Houston organization are reportedly upset about the fact that Griffin and Rivers weren't punished for the roles they both played in the incident. They apparently thought that, at the very least, the Clippers players deserved a fine for what they did on Monday night. But despite the way things ultimately played out, it sounds like some of the tension that existed between the Rockets and Clippers may have fizzled out over the course of the last few days, especially as it pertains to the beef that seemed to exist between Ariza and Rivers. The two players were seen jawing at one another at the end of the game on Monday, and the belief was that Ariza may have gone to the Clippers locker room after the game to confront Rivers about something he said to him, even though Rivers was sidelined with an injury and didn't even play during the game. Rivers seemed to confirm that he was indeed the one who got Ariza all riled up on Monday when he spoke with ESPN.com on Wednesday night about the incident. But he also spoke about how he had buried whatever beef he had with Ariza during a phone call that took place on Tuesday. According to Rivers, Ariza went out of his way to call him and smooth things over. First and foremost, me and Trevor have no problems. He called me. He reached out to me. Trevor and I talked and we hashed everything out. He was really cool about being the bigger guy and calling me. Rivers also touched on exactly what he believes set Ariza off and made him so mad in the first place. He talked about getting into a war of words with Ariza from the bench and said that it was actually a misunderstanding that led to Ariza getting angry enough to storm the locker room. According to Rivers, he yelled do it to Ariza at one point towards the end of the game, which Ariza interpreted to mean he wanted to fight. Rivers said that's when things spiraled out of control. He didn't hear what I said, so he turned around and said what the f did you just say to me? Then he called me some stuff. And I'm a grown man. I'm not gonna take nothing from nobody, just like he wouldn't. So I took offense to it. And he didn't know what I said. So after the game, he came in the locker room and his whole thing was, what'd he say? What'd he say? Now Rivers and Ariza might be back on good terms after their phone call, but don't expect that to entirely fix things between the Rockets and the Clippers. Not only are the Rockets still pissed that Rivers and Griffin escaped the incident without punishment, but ESPN reporter Ramona Shelburne was quick to point out that there's still plenty of tension between Rivers and Ariza's teammate, Chris Paul. And that tension could very well spill over into the Rockets' next meeting against the Clippers in late February. It'll be interesting to see what happens when these two teams take the court together again. That's the news for now, but for all the latest on the Rockets and the Clippers, subscribe to Complex News on YouTube. For Complex, I'm Frazier.